Good morning. How is everyone out there in the internet lands? Um, Megan, thanks for being here so early. Um, I I am Christopher, and I am just getting my coffee into my system. Good morning. It's Monday. Um, this is brought to you by the Wacom Experience Center in Portland, Oregon. And it's Wake Up with Wacom, and that means that we're just going to draw a bit. We're going to exercise those drawing muscles. Sierra, good morning. David Ricksmith. I feel like you were the last person in our stream, in our chat on Friday, and you're the first person in our stream on Monday. So thanks for being here. A um, little bit different energy coming from me on a Monday compared to a Friday. Uh, so we're just gonna, we're gonna just, we're, we're gonna draw, we're gonna loosen up. Uh, I'm gonna start, I like going to this website called Sketch Daily and and just drawing people uh, to, to get warmed up. Uh, it's something I can be better at. It's something, well, a lot of us are good at it, but it's good practice. How is everyone? How is everyone's weekends? Let's, uh, let's get into the Photoshop screen and stop looking at my face. This isn't even Photoshop. I got that Clip Studio paint, you know? CSP for life. <laughs> Hilarious weekend. So, Megan, you had a raccoon problem. Tell us about it. You are you are not a raccoon mama. Where is that raccoon emote? There it is. Uh I mean you could voice in if you if you got into the Discord channel. If you if you really wanted to tell us about it. I'm gonna start drawing while you tell your story. Okay. I've forgotten how to draw people. I've been drawing feet lately. And now I've forgotten how to draw heads. I'm like going through like heads, feet. I think I'm gonna do neck and torso after after this. Just got a notification. Welcome Experience Center is now live. Thank you. Thank you, Twitch. Long story relatively short, ended up that that MF -er was day drunk or got into someone's trash or had a bat stomach ache. And 9 p.m. once the sun went down. Yeah, if you do find some raccoon babies. Yeah, I want one too. Man, I'm glad this is the warm-up sketch because this is already bad. I need to catch up with the Discord. I saw people were posting in it this weekend and I need to catch up. I like checked out this weekend and didn't talk to people. It was nice. I finished two books, which seems like a big accomplishment. One was a manga, so 
you know, which is still a book. But the other book I only had like 50 pages left in. So I didn't really read that much, but both were finished. <laughs> I made this way too big. I did like a strong superhero masculine jaw. How to draw. Should have warmed up before my warm up. words than you cartoon katie what's good you're all about these monday streams waking up early um sorry i'm not megan megan's in the chat though megan was like you do it and i was like all right hey you're not megan Hmm. I am not. I'm just trying to be cool. I like woke up earlier than Megan and just started streaming and stole stole the stream right out from under Megan's nose. That'd be funny. You thought you were streaming? Nope. I am taking too long on, on this. I want to move on. Boo boo. Boo boo. Meme capable. What's good? Commandeer the stream. Mutiny. That's funny. <laughs> that would be funny if I had like pirate animations and <laughs> started a, a Wacom stream mutiny. That would be great. Eyes trying to go. It's listing lazily to the left. Cartoon Katie, how was your weekend? Play any Animal Crossing? Are those cherry blossoms out? All right, she's done. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move on. Very angry person. It's not angry. Into Stardew Valley, right on. Is that the one Carter's playing? Right. 
I just got Spider-Man, uh, not the Miles Morales one, uh, but the first, I mean, first one out of this new reboot series. It's pretty fun. I am thwipping all around the city. It's pretty great. Thwip, thwip. I have not played Hades, but I haven't played Hades, but I feel like I can recommend it. Um, I've heard like too many good things about it. Apparently it's awesome. I think the biggest thing is that it can get repetitive. Like that's what people's gripes about it, but the gameplay is so fun that it's not like the biggest hurdle to get over, you know? <laughs> I've listened to like so many podcasts be like, Hades is the best thing ever, it got robbed of game of the year. Which is funny because it was a contender for Game of the Year when like 15 people worked on it. But the game that actually won Game of the Year, The Last of Us Part Two, had like, what, like 200 people working on it? You like rouge likes? Rogue, rogue likes? Rogue. That's what that word is. Yeah, the music is like, it's like metal, right? <laughs> Got some sweet drums in there and it makes you just want to like charge into battle. I hope Game Chops does a Hades mix. That'd be sick. <laughs> Lo-fi metal. I play game chunks. Chunks. That's funny. Good old game chunks. This guy has a big head and a little neck.
chomps, chomps, chomps. As I'm drawing these things, it reminded me while we were in homework club the other night, I was talking to a few people. Mega motion, what's good? Nice clip studio, thank you, thank you. Just uh, trying to keep up with cool kids, you know. Uh, oh my gosh, this is a scary little kid. I am gonna try to draw this scary little kid. I'm gonna draw a few more heads and see if I can try to draw a hand on stream. Um, thanks. I'm trying to trying to do some warm ups. Anyways, I was saying, I was in homework club the other night, talking with some people, and like we were all getting excited because uh, we're all starting to get vaccinated, and we were talking about like being able to see each other in person, but do go to figure drawing classes in person, which is something that I used to do, but I was like never really good at, and since homework club, I've tried to be better at, at and be more methodical about drawing people and it's something I want to get back into but you get you get your first shot this afternoon that's sick Megan congratulations I had a dream I got my second shot now that you say that I hope your arm is not as sore as mine mine was but we want to bring figure drawing to the experience center and hire cosplay people to come in and model for us and I even got some volunteers to do that. So one of our first events back, we should do a live Twitch figure drawing night where we, it's both in person and on Twitch. This is, this is my idea. This is my idea I'm pitching to the stream where we are getting cosplayers to come in, maybe some elves, maybe a cool Iron Man. I don't know. Cosplay sketch night. It's um something I I would like to do. This kid is not as tilted as I'm making him to be. So maybe maybe July or August we could do that. Add that to your goals for the year. I will do that. Cosplay sketch night. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying, uh, Megan, or Mega. There's Mega and Megan in the chat, and I'm glad. Jess Collins, what's good? I'm glad your, your names are different colors right now. Uh, because I keep getting you guys confused. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll stream it on Twitch, uh, and then you can, like, post in the Discord, uh, and draw along with us. What am I trying to do here? I'm trying to draw this, this, this child. Jess Collins, how's your morning? How's your Monday? It's good to see you in the chat you just missed M Megan's raccoon news uh, if I see like a raccoon on the internet I feel like I should probably send this to Jess <laughs> and I'm sorry I think that work on those butterfly strokes was that supposed to be like a pun because like a stroke of a, a pen I couldn't tell Is 
It's nice out here in, in Portland, Oregon. The sun is shining. It was like 80 degrees yesterday. It was hot. It was nice. I spent a lot of it outside, which was good. Went for a morning bike ride. This is, this is looking weird. I might, I might abandon this one. I'm talking and not drawn enough. Doggy paddle is another classic maneuver. You got the the backstroke, the butterfly. Doggy paddle. I think those are the three moves I know. Floating aimlessly. Sink like a rock is also a good, not advised, but you know. Totally viable technique. I was on a swim team once. I was very young. It's how I learned how to swim. I was not good. It was not good. <laughs> Pina Colada poolside. Oh, you know what I forgot to do, Megan, is catch up with Winter Soldier. Uh, I did not do that. We only have like, this went from little kid to old man really quick. Uh, we only have one more episode left, right? Is there anyone else watching Falcon Winter Soldier? Hell yeah. I like that. I like the enthusiasm. Hell yeah. All right. All right, demonic child.
Well, this is a scary old man. I'm judging these these heads I'm drawing, which I shouldn't do. The fourth episode. I thought the... I think it was the fourth episode. I thought the fourth episode was really good. Megan, are you liking WandaVision or Winter Soldier more? I know Winter Soldier's not done yet, but you know, you've seen most of it. Although I am an episode, yeah. Although I'm an episode behind, I would say WandaVision Merely for the fact that WandaVision, I thought, was a bit more original. Like, I've seen, like, an action-packed movie before, right? Like, and I feel like that's what, like, the Captain America movies are. They're just, like, hardcore action. Where WandaVision kind of slowed things down a bit. Although, there, I mean, like, there was plenty of action in WandaVision. But it was more of, like, I have no idea what I'm gonna, like, expect out of this episode. Yeah, WandaVision was cool. Sometimes, like, like the Winter Soldier is just, like, it feels like, uh, like a Mission Impossible movie, you know? Where it's just, just crazy stuff happening. Fights on top of moving trucks and other crazy things. Where WandaVision was like a sitcom, which I love sitcoms. It did have a laugh track, yeah. Wow, that's a great idea. <laughs> How would I do that? I, I would have to set that up on a hotkey, though. Which is totally... Which I totally could do. That's a really good idea, Cartoon Katie. Oh my god. There's some interactive stuff where you can get the chat to set up sounds. Yeah, I've seen um, other streamers are like, if you contribute bits, then whatever you type with those bits uh, will get played out during the stream. But I've also seen like some really problematic stuff with with that. But it is it is fun. Yeah, I've, I've, I've thought that too. We have one. Or we're getting one?
Wait, I just missed this mega motion. I think WandaVision was filmed live. Like the house parts? Like it was filmed in front of like a studio audience type of a thing? Yeah, Stream Deck would be would be next level. I've seen some streamers use one and it's just like way too fun. I feel like I would just be messing with the Stream Deck for like the, the majority of, of my stream. guy looks like the villain now he looks like an anime favorite part is that you can animate the graphics on the buttons. What do you mean by that, Katie? stream deck the buttons are little screens oh that's super cute <laughs> i like that i like the way this guy turned out I have the medium and I wish I had saved for the larger model. You can macro within macro and do some cool stuff. That's cool. I've seen like some people for like a quick zoom, which is definitely something I want to do. It's just like quickly zoom from like going from this screen to like a close up of my face for like super serious moments. Super serious. Also, thank you all for being here uh, and talking to me. <laughs> Just want to say that, like, being this early on a Monday, it's, uh... Lord knows I'm not always interactive on Megan's streams on Mondays. Uh, I try my best to wake up and, like, try to contribute, but you guys are, you guys are great. I just want to say that you guys are great. <laughs> Should I do another head or should I move on? Maybe do some dreaded hands. Looks like I'm doing another head.
I love the Monday morning streams. I normally wake up, check my phone, and go back to bed. But then I wake up to the little Twitch notification, and it really sets me up right for for the week. Oh, oh, that's good. Cause, yeah, I feel that. I do the same. A foothead or a foot soldier? That's funny. Foot soldier. That's... That's... <laughs> okay, I'm definitely drawing a foot soldier. That's so funny. A true soul, man. A v versus a very realistic... Turtool? Turtle? Turtle. <laughs> it's like Turtool? Is that a Pokemon? <laughs> I feel old like referencing Pokemon because I only really know like the f first two generations. And the, the kids nowadays are like, go garbage man. And I don't know what they're talking about. Go heap of trash. Suffocate with your smelliness. Meme capable, are you drawing a realistic tertiwal? They will only be tertiwals from now on. I feel like it would have to be a bow tie. Uh, because, like, if it was a regular tie, he would, like, trip over it. So, like, a bow tie, it would be easier for him to get around. I agree. I do not like a lot of the new Pokemon designs. I don't like object Pokemon, and I don't like Pokemon that are... that look like humans. Like, Mr. Mime freaks me out. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Mime. Like, you look like a weird abomination. He looks like something like that would be made from a weird experiment from like Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah, maybe I just like the the pokey the the Pokemon that are based off of animals because like they're a bit more like realistic to me, and I use that word like loosely because like how realistic is Pokemon? But it definitely helps my suspension of disbelief a bit. Like when you see maybe like a Pikachu roaming the streets of a city when he's like a little mouse or a rat and it makes sense instead of like isn't there like a lollipop or an ice cream cone pokemon and i'm like come on come on 
Come on. Do better. Thoughts on the Pikachu movie? Detective Pikachu? I loved it. Like, I thought it was really fun. Uh, like, it wasn't the best movie, but I was like, this is good. Uh, it was way better than the show was, so I was, like, hype about that. Uh, it was a lot less Team Rocket than, than the show had, which was great. Uh, it had Mewtwo, and Mewtwo wasn't necessarily... I mean, spoilers. Spoilers, spoilers. Um, I thought Mewtwo's role in the movie was really good. Is Team Rocket a bad thing? So, in the cartoon show, Team Rocket was in every episode, and they always did their, like, we're coming in for a fight. Like, they were... They were the conflict in, like, 95% of the episodes. And it got just very repetitive. Like, it was just like, here's Team Rocket trying to steal this Pokemon. Okay, Pikachu's th gonna Thunderbolt them into the sky. Okay, here's Team Rocket stealing this Pokemon. Like, it, it was not very creative. What they did with the show was kind of, like, super sad, in my opinion. And I hate Ash Ketchum. Ash Ketchum is, is the worst thing to happen to Pokemon. <laughs> Stopped watching because Ash was the worst trainer of all time. He just wanted to be the very best, but wanted to put in zero work to do that. To give him some credit, he was 10, and he was kicked out of the house at 10, and to go live in the wilderness. So, you know, gotta, gotta give him some credit. <laughs> But they, but they were, they were a trio because they had Meowth and all, all of their like funny Pokemon. I wanted to write a Pokemon fanfic that I never got around to uh, because like the whole theory behind there was a big Pokemon war and like that's why there's no dads in the show. Like Ash doesn't have a dad. And, like, no one has a dad. And, like, Brock was the the head of the household for however long until he abandoned his family and just went and followed Ash around. I wanted to write the Pokemon War story, but then I was like, I can't write. <laughs> and I wanted to do it from the perspective of Ash's dad, and I thought that would be really fun. Now someone go, go write this and mention me. The Poke War would have been real. Okay, let's stop here. I kind of want to, I kind of want to draw that foot soldier. I think that would be really funny. foot I like don't want to think about like the targeted ads that I'm gonna get because I've been googling feet so much I've heard that Pokemon Go is the prequel to the Pokemon series? How so?
ads are afoot. David Rick Smith. All right, I was gonna give you one for the foot soldier, but this you you're doing too good of a job. See, this is why I need the stream deck for for these moments right here. David Rick Smith, that's for you. And then, like, it would have been great if I could have, like, started with a laugh track and then gone into the awards. Um, let's see if I can do this right. I keep messing this up. There we go. There we go. I did type your username wrong. Um, apparently, there's... Multiple Ricks in David Rick Smith. Because there's ancient Pokemon that are just out in the wild, Aerodactyl, etc. And the gym system isn't sophisticated and some things like that. Oh, okay. I remember Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go was like literally the opposite of the pandemic, right? It was people going out into the wild and like not being afraid of meeting new people and like just going outside and not being afraid of anything. It was great. It was it was literally the opposite of the pandemic. Plural Ricks. If you uh, ever need to change your username, Plural Ricks it might be a good one. How to draw. The stinkiest. There's definitely a foot emote in here too. There's gotta be. I thought there was at least like a kick. Hmm. 
Maybe not. Here's a Pikachu. Thank you, Cartoon Katie. I am not liking this foot. I've done a bad job drawing this foot. I think I'm gonna start again. Go away, foot. I need one of those floor mats. Just trying to roll around on the carpet. Checking the Discord. Oh my god, mean capable. Did you just post this like this morning? What the heck? What the heck? This might be my my favorite little pirate. Hold on a second, everyone. Hold on a second. We got some... Uh, we got this beautiful pirate in the Discord this morning. Uh, I just needed everyone to know. Waffles has made the Discord. Uh, but I want to check out... <laughs> Thank you, Meme Capable. Um, I want to check out this little raccoon. Um, I might switch gears and draw this raccoon. Oh, look at the little, like, he looks like he's about to, like, dive into some water. It's so cute. This is, like, the best pick, I think. Although, this one's really funny, too. Man. I hope this raccoon feels better. Also, I hope he's not, like, sick. I hope you got your, your rabies shots. Coming to you live from my bed. It's getting weird in the hood. Raccoons are so cute, though. Alright, that was uh, our Monday morning. Thanks for posting section. Um, thanks for posting. I hope it's okay.
song is so serious. What's this song called? Oh, it's, it's chill bending. We've moved on to chill bending, that's why. How did uh, RJ react to the raccoon? Was he like new friend or was he scared? Okay, if this was a foot soldier, where would the face be? Would would this be his face? Would he have like a little toe helmet? Would they all be little faces on the toes? Would it just be To me, the big toe is the leader of the foot. He then jumped around the yard like he could smell vermin and went into the full hunting dog mode. We kept him inside for the rest of the day. Took him to the dog park. Well, that's nice. All right. David Ricksmith, you did not even have to redeem any channel points to get this. Your pun, your your puns just work their magic on me. I like all toes as faces. That's okay. <laughs> Anything goes on the Monday morning sketch stream. <laughs> Bing, 
Of course you would say no. We got the whole stream saying yes, Carter. He's a foot soldier. Carry on, soldier. Oh, man. This is, like, the saddest part of my day when I, like, run out of coffee. I am I am nursing these last few sips. Sweet nectar of life. Ugh. I'm spending too much time on this. This one is like Rambo style. Good, good to see you, Sky Mall Rats. Go make, go make. All right, we're, we're gonna do Legend of Synth, synth Wave. committed to all of these guys having their own faces. This is a cursed image. You can't see this guy's eye, but he has a little nose. French foot. That's really good. That's really good.
sad pinky toe. Maybe they have like a little bandolier. I don't know if they would have a rifle, like, Lord knows how that they would use it. <laughs> to foot combat. <laughs> I'm I mean, the rifle could just... Not that I want to be drawing a whole bunch of guns on stream. Nah. It's got a little... little band-aid right here. There's the foot soldier. I don't know why I drew that. A Lego could be the villain? That's pretty, that's pretty funny. The Legos would be like the landmines. Do. I now see how Todd's streams work, where he just takes suggestions from the chat and draws them. <laughs> it's, it's, it's brilliant. David, I didn't... Why Why is this... Just for you? Like, I'm gonna change this to the David Ricksmith Award. Does he have combat boots? That would be like the tank. Right? Like... If there was a combat boot, it would just, it would just be a tank. But we're not gonna we're not gonna draw this whole scene. Yeah, there would definitely have to be a lot of tread. Uh I'm gonna I'm gonna shift <laughs> I'm gonna shift gears here 
And I, I want to draw another orange on our scene here. Now that now that we've spent the last hour and 15 minutes just drawing silliness. This is also very silly. There's a trend in what I draw. It's all very silly. What do I need though? I need that paper. I'm looking for something to open at this very moment. I'm not just staring at my screen very in intently at nothing. I don't know if it's just like my computer or whatever, but I find with Clip Studio, it doesn't like to load transformations all that smoothly. I don't know what the deal is. Like it definitely takes a second to think about it. This is the mesh transform tool. Uh, if you go into file, edit, no, if you go into edit transform, you can bring up the mesh tool, the, the mesh transform tool. And it gives you all of these like little, little thingies. You're welcome.
Now that it's getting warmer, are you going to add an icebox side chat? Todd, you're here. Oh, man. I just went down to... I have one last sip of coffee. This is, this is for you, Todd. I am still live. I just, I didn't stop streaming from Friday, and it's been, it's been like this weird 72-hour stream, and I'm going crazy. No, it's not true. I think that we should do a 24-hour stream, though. I think that would be fun. And, uh, you know, maybe we can employ some help of some artists that we know to take over, like, a few hours of a stream. I think the day... I have, like... I was just pitching some more stream ideas, but that maybe the day that we return to in-person and that we can, like, officially stream from the Experience Center, maybe we just do a big 24-hour stream. Line up a bunch of events, do a bunch of giveaways. It'd be cool. It'd be cool. I want to do more giveaways. Maybe on Friday I'll do a giveaway. Remind chat, remind me on Friday I want to do a giveaway. Megan, I think Megan left the chat, so you know, just don't tell Megan. We're just gonna give stuff away. Okay, yeah, those shirts are pretty sick it's like i have a hard time not wearing it every day uh and i don't see too many people out in the world but i feel like it's like my shirt where i like i'm like oh i'm gonna go see people today i'm gonna wear my cool Wacom shirt cartoon katie keep it keep it on the dl don't 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 tell megan <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how long it takes for things to go from Portland, o Oregon over to the UK. So, hopefully it gets there soon. Ten days, two years. Take a month? Okay, so I'm getting a lot of a lot of feedback. So Mega Motion, hopefully you haven't moved by the time that your package gets gets to the UK. Yeah, we've gone from a pen and tablet company to a giant infrastructure company where we just work on tunnels. Secret tunnel! Secret tunnel! Sing it with me now. Secret tunnel! <laughs> now I want a secret tunnel animation. A...
The ancient Wacom tunnel. <laughs> Thank you, Todd. Secret tunnel! <laughs> oh, man. Now I just want a secret tunnel voice command or something like that. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Yeah, voice definitely has to be echoed. I use some badger mole grunts in there. All right, meme capable. I'm definitely gonna do some Googling after this, see if I can get myself a stream deck. Todd, I was wondering if you had a stream deck with your anime animations. I was like, how's he doing those so quick? Six buttons isn't enough. Yeah. Once you start getting, like, a bunch of, like... <laughs> six buttons, I feel like, would be limiting. Yeah. It's a 32 one too, I think 30 something, but that one is expensive. 32 is a lot of buttons. I may go up to the 30, I think it's 150. Okay, all right. That's not bad. Back in the day when I was taking a lot of photos, I used to have a thing by loop deck. And it was like, I could link all the buttons to Photoshop in Lightroom. And I felt like I was mixing music while editing photos. It was, it was magic. That's just my little side tangent. I honestly don't know if I would have the space for... Well, I could put it down here.
I need to figure out what orange I actually used for this. Uh, this is closer. Not the same, though. They can be mounted. Interesting. Bust out a woodwind MIDI control mini controller? Yeah, you all have secret tunnel playing in your head the rest of your day. Secret tunnel. Easily one of the best episodes. I will only get you that voice clip if you promise to use it on stream. That's what Cartoon Katie and Meme Capable uh, were saying. That the the light up lights are super cool, and you can like assign gifts to them so they can be animated. Like that's pretty dope.
that? Sorry, I'm not I'm I'm not keeping up with chat. And I would love to use your clip on stream. Some memory issues and it helped tremendously. Plus making PNGs that look nice is a fun time passer. Yeah, I feel like I would just dedicate a whole stream to creating the little, the little screens. Secret not being chatty. I feel like I'm not doing my duty to the stream when I'm not chatting. Are you not entertained? <laughs> That's the plan anyways. Make some art. What's, uh, does anyone have any good plans for the week? Oh, Todd, how are you feeling after your, your second dose of... Oh, stop it. Stop it. But, Todd, how was your second dose of the, uh, the vaccine? How are you feeling? How were you feeling this weekend?
I will stay hydrated that day and it will hurt less according to the docs. That's very good. That's good intel. I think I asked for too much stoke in mine. Oh no. Oh no, were you not feeling well? It hit hours later. Oh, wow. So, really early morning, I woke up with the chills, fever, and aches. So, all Friday was flu-like symptoms, but never... But fever broke that night and back to normal Saturday. Okay, okay. 24 hours. Sweet. Going to refill my water bottle now. Yes. Yeah, hydration and rest are key. I can't handle the stoke like Christopher can. I only got my first dose, dose of stoke, though, so... Thanks for uh, leading the way and getting that, that intel. Um, I will be getting my second dose of Stoke on uh, May 12th. So check back with me then. Thanks for the emotes, Jess. Yeah, uh, my grandmother got her second dose and didn't have any symptoms, so I'm, you know, hoping for those, those good genes. Hopefully those, those good P. Diego genes can uh, help me out. Joby just went live. I think I want to raid after this. Uh, which should be coming up soon. We're coming up on 10 o'clock. Been streaming for almost two hours now. But there's a streamer that I, I like uh, to watch during the day. He's a very chill streamer. And a really good at educating people at what he's doing. Uh, so I'll probably see if I can raid him.
No, it definitely has that 80s vibe. I think it's the the glasses, the font, and the jacket, maybe. Yeah. I want more oranges, but these oranges <laughs> take a while. Um, but I watched the first episode of My Hero Academia season five last night, and it was good. Uh, it was like very much a like. Hey, we've been away for a while. Let's get you caught up on what this world is all about, which I kind of appreciated. I think it's been like a year since I've watched My Hero Academia. Silhouettes of dead oranges floating in the background. I could, yeah, I think I'll have to simplify them a bit uh, and s make them more silhouette-y. Yeah, season five, episode one was definitely like a recap episode. Um, I'm gonna set up a raid. If I can remember how to do that. There we go. Um, but this has been good. This has been good. Uh, let me let me change screens. Go to my home screen. Oh, I had the wrong transition. Orange juice on the floor. Maybe some maybe some blood. You know what was pointed out to me? Uh Pineapples are not citrus. They are a berry. And so I had to change my narrative a bit and that the pineapple hates citrus because he's often misidentified. And so he's just going around killing citrus. Yeah, um, pineapples are berries. Yeah, who knew? Who knew? Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. So I'm going to set up a raid. We're going to raid Joby. Really like this streamer. Uh, but thanks for being here, everyone. Uh, yeah, thanks for being here. This has been really great. Uh, thanks for being here so early in the morning. Um... This has been brought to you by the Wacom Experience Center uh, in Portland, Oregon. Like I said, we have some like fun stuff. Wednesday, Tuesday will be Sierra. Wednesday, Creative Conversations. Megan will be hosting that with Gear Duran. Check out Gear's work. Uh, I th we're we're linking him in our socials and stuff like that. He's he's a wild guy, and I'm excited for Wednesday stream. And then Friday, I'll be back. Um, Pineapple Berry Hitman. I went, just watched Berry for the first time. Man, that show is dark. Ugh. Uh. I need to amp up my lighting. So do I. My green screen is not at full capacity today. Uh, but thank you all. Uh, this, this has been really great. I've been like chatting for like two hours on a Monday morning, which is not something I normally do. And I really have been enjoying these Monday morning streams. And it's it's thanks to you guys where I can wake up and just like chat with some friends. So so thank you all. Yeah, I also love Bill Hader. Stoke is high. Um, and have fun the stream. Send some good emotes. And we'll see you soon. Bye now. <laughs>